Hello, welcome to the second part of the video. So basically what I want to talk about today is uh, parameters and skill points for the engineer, how you can progress them well and how you can actually level up faster uh, from level 16 uh, to level 20. Let's get to it. So I'm going to be talking about right now uh, parameters. So if you press C, you go to car character information and on the top below is going to be character parameters. So for character parameters, what I've done, I chose intelligence, obviously, because we are engineers. So for engineers intelligence, as you can see here in the description, is a key characteristics for engineers basically you need that parameter a lot of people ask me about fortune is it gonna be in a better way if i put maybe one point here and maybe two points here or two points here and one point here or uh maybe all three on the on the fortune i will tell you this fortune will not help you level up faster will not help you gain more XP, uh, will not help you increase uh, your gun proficiency uh, at all. Fortune is basically for different kind of things and helps for different situations. For example, fortune, it will help you when you kill a monster, you'll be able to get higher, you have the higher chance when, since you kill this monster you'll be able to have better loot, like something really good from this monster. Maybe something that you'll be waiting to get and you don't get it. Maybe with fortune, you'll be able to get it. Um, maybe if not from the five, um, maybe not like killing it five times, but maybe two times. So this is what it really is. Uh, intelligence, it's basically helping you increase uh, for basically anything the experience out of it if we go here to the character information you definitely see those here and you will see medical experience craft experience repair experience mining experience survival experience all of those can actually be can be uh, increased from intelligence so um i'm gonna go to the character skills so character skills we have two kinds of skills here we have common skills as i said to the previous video before about skills and parameters if you want to check that out you can go um it's basically i'm talking about an edge in, in a generic way there here i'm talking about engineer specifically so yeah um uh, and we have here class skills now uh why do we have that first of all common skills are skills that is for very common things something that it will be for basically all the classes common skills is for all classes is basically going to give you the same thing for all the classes um, and it won't have a big a big of an impact so common skills in my opinion do not invest them early in early levels it's a waste um in class skills if you can see um here the minimum required level to actually be able to invest points on it's level eight um but before you even get level eight i totally suggest totally suggest to wait get there and then invest them on here now what i've done um is here I put, I put them to the bottom tree so basically to clear this out the top the top tree the top uh the top tree over here it's pvp and you can see our combat engineer and here in the bottom is pve bio engineer which is basically for pve um here you will see uh you gain more experience by monsters so because you want to do pve uh, here is going to be first aid, which definitely you, you, you should take this more uh, earlier than this one because a lot of people have been stuck. Which one should I use? 
I'm definitely choosing this one because I would be using more medicine uh, rather than just have an increase of health just by 10%. It's um, it's not much as you uh, if you, if you actually think about it. So first aid, if you don't have a parameter here for it, I mean sorry, a skill for it, you should go for this one. Then, and then as you move on, you can choose. You can choose all of those and it would basically uh, increase your uh, experience and chances of uh, leveling faster. Now, on the bottom bottom tree over here, all the way to the bottom, you will see this. Now, this is totally useless for low levels. You should totally invest points when you get like after level 35, maybe th level 37 or level 40 until level 50 this tree over here is basically dedicated to production and only to production but mostly to productivity uh, so basically here you get a uh, five percent production speed basically when you um crafting uh let's say something it will be a bit more faster than normal um over here another another skill it's been added is when you have on your foreigners for example or any other um basically your crafting station on your cells will be one more shell added um after the five after five shells which is the default for shells uh it will be one more added so it's gonna be basically six so it will be much more one more shell for more production um this one is for lock picking basically get more chances for basically seven uh, lock picks so not waste them all if you get a felt attempt and this one is for basically um more more an, an increase on the effect when you actually repairing uh, a gun or repairing even an armor um it's very good it's a very good re it's a very good like perk to have it but i would totally use it when i'm getting like level 40 level 45 actually in those kind of levels you totally go for it because then you would have um how to say more guns more of the excuse to really repair something so yeah um now this is all what it's for for production now this one, we'll be talking about this later, but it's for a gun that is for engineers only. They will be able to heal their um, their partner or their, their friend or basically people when they're very, very in low health. You'll be, you'll be able to basically heal them and from that you will be, you'll be able to gain XP from this. However, we will cover this in another video. So I have covered already for the engineer, for the character parameters, for the character skills, and about the skills that you just need uh, when you are level 16 as an engineer. All right, we went to level 20. So now from here, from the swamps, uh, here is the entrance for the tunnels from swamps and here will be a guide but do not go here we will go from this way I'll just show you now here you have to be careful with those uh, jellies just go from this way so we can just go this way just run You see the ladder, we're going up. So, here we are in Canyon, we made it. So, first things first, uh, in Canyon, I want to explain one thing 
so you can all understand. This is canyon. Okay. For now, you can see there are on D1 there's one guide and from we cannot really see but from uh this one there's another guide where we cannot go. What they did on the recent update what they did they changed the guides and basically uh they now whoever has the base um now this is for faction however for neutrals you have to understand that for neutrals either way whoever has the base whoever has uh the canyon will not be able to go on d1 or either on the c64 uh well 665 actually because uh we're not going to be able to enter the safe zone there um now where we can enter is an e37 or we can actually go from south on e6 um wait e6 uh e66 and e7 um e73 yeah e73 so only on those uh coordinates we can actually go and enter uh if we want to actually farm in canyon uh, Canyon is a PvP base map. Um, now, once you've seen, uh, I have a PvP icon over here um, at the bottom, which basically is going to be uh, not, um, we're not going to be able to turn it off. But once we go back on the terminals, we'll be able to turn it off. However, uh, you have to understand that once we're turned of the um, the icon the pvp icon off is this is gonna be for an hour now on the next video i'm going to talk about neutrals versus faction which is basically gonna be a full covered video about either you want to join to a faction or not what there are the disadvantages and the advantages for being neutral or um in the faction um Please uh, like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.